I moved the order around on the dock a bit because um, one of the names just got my attention. Um, what was it? Strict Month. Strict Month. Is that the song name or the band name? It's the band name with their song, Hereditary Song. Wait, is that um, <coughs> Kevin? Kevin Fournier. Okay. He, okay. Uh, he has been on the pod before. He plays drums on No Orphans. He played drums for the local legends in uh, A Minute Till Midnight. He's just the... He's right. got. He's got. I think he did a project called "The Smiling Eyes." After he's a good singer no songwriter. Orphans. Yeah, no orphans. I, um, I, was, I was very briefly in that band with him, doing some like practices and stuff to see if I fit along. So yeah, I spent. I spent a little time. Yeah, I think everyone was in no orphans. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, uh, yeah. So I spent a little time around Kevin, and we got to know each other. I, I've always liked the dude. He's, he's always been like a super cool guy. Um, so this is like I remember he had. Um, was it red guitar? Was his solo stuff back in the day? He had red guitar, and then he did smiling eyes, which was like right. him and his, he wrote all the songs and had like a backing band. And then he also had that really cool video. I don't think it's on YouTube anymore though. Um, the Kitty song. Do you remember right. the Kitty oh song? Oh my God, Kevin! If we can find that video, we're putting it on this channel and reacting to it, and you can't stop us. <laughs> um, and also, just quick shout out. Um, a Minute Till Midnight was, like, my favorite metalcore band around here growing up. Like, that was, like, the one for me. Where it was, like, mm -hmm. I'd be excited to see certain bands. But when A Minute Till Midnight was on the bill, dude, that was going to be a fun-ass time. That EP is legendary to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, it's, I saw Franz yesterday. We were playing uh, oh, disco. Yeah. and Trevor. Yeah, yeah. I, Fran I forgot Franz was in that band. So it's Kevin, Franz, Trevor, and... Um... um I don't know who else played in that band. But shout out you, because yeah. you were probably sick. And um, if you're watching, let us know who you were, and come on the show. It'll be fun, <laughs> whoever you are. You want to change? Is that what you want to do first? Um. Well, we're kind of already in the thick of it, aren't we, Phil? So, sorry, folks, the illusion has been totally <laughs> shattered. Um, we are filming a couple reactions in the same day. That's Which fine. ones... Keep, keep an eye out. If you see the same shirt, let us know in the comments and yeah. uh, ber berate us for our authenticity or something. We are going to jump into Strict Month's Hereditary, uh, their very first single then. I know nothing about this other than Kevin. Zero. Zero. Yeah, me too. Um, I think I know what to expect, but we'll see. <laughs> I have to pause just for two things quickly. I can't wait because I have to bring them up or I'll forget. First and foremost, um, I really like the juxtaposition between a mushroom style Hawaiian shirt and a converge tank top. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a look. I like that. Yeah. Also, the yellow flannel he wear he's wearing is what I was going to go change into, which is <laughs> it would have been really funny. I should have grabbed the flannel. So that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, no, I love that he's doing all the... He's doing everything in this band. He's singing, he's playing drums, and guitar. And the video looks cool so far because um, I've seen some people... Um, we'll see if I put them on screen. Um, where, like, they try to make the video where it's like every... They're playing every single instrument, and it just kind of ends up looking a little goofy sometimes. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I think this is actually... It looks good so far. It doesn't, you know, feel kind of corny seeing someone on the same instrument in every cut. Right. And I think that quick sort of staccato-y cuts are really important for nailing that vibe, too. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting to see if I... It's It looks self-directed to me. It'll be interesting to see or find out. Yeah. Ha <laughs> 
Yo, Kevin, if you're watching, and I know you are, uh, this is great. This is, like, a really incredible song. I think that the synths coming in mm -hmm. really just gives it such an awesome vibe, keeps it interesting. Um, I bring this up every episode, but I'm getting a little bit of Misser, a little bit of Transit. Um, really? I'm, I'm, I'm getting more of that, like, bubblegum punk that was happening. Like, remember the band Sing It Loud? Um, I don't actually. Yeah, um, no, like, they, they was, like, really easy, like, emo pop, but, like, it was, like, with heavy synth and, like, like mid-2000s, like, still MySpace era stuff. It's giving me, like, I'd say, like, Say Anything. Say um, Anything, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of Say Anything energy on this. Again, I, I ignored such a, you know, unfortunate chunk of, like, the good, like, sort of, like, neon synth bubblegum punk that was going on yeah because again i was just so like like balls deep into heavy shit so but this is like totally up my alley i love this i love like neon like it's giving me again um i brought it up uh recently i you'll probably see this before the next episode of the podcast but it feels like i'm in like a you're trapped in like a like the sonic casino level you know what i mean like it's just super sick yeah yeah bright lights and uh and just like hyper music yeah i know what you mean yeah like it's it gives me a little all-time low but like Ooh. less corny you know what i mean like yeah. that's the thing it's like his voice is so much more compelling to me than a lot of the stuff that i would um typically compare it to and i think that's where like i kind of lose like my framing right mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. his vocal delivery is so different from like what you would get out of something like scary kids scaring kids or like right bands that were more Chiodos. of this Chia oh god I love we're gonna talk about bone palace ballet one day mm -hmm. did you like that album yeah oh yeah we're gonna talk okay stay tuned so Right now. Yeah, Wonder Years. Yeah, no, I, I also think you nailed it on the head with Say Anything. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, God, I, I love this. I love this. This clap along part is fantastic. Um, I, I actually do like the hyper cuts of seeing him playing every different instrument. What's that? You see this melted lamp? I can't keep my eyes off it. It's been in a lot of shots. Yeah, there's a lot of really, um, like, I, like, it's there's so many like subtle little funny things and like he cuts away from them quick and i appreciate that sort of subtlety in its delivery you know what i mean like mm. it's like not every joke is going to be like hanging on you know the screen for five seconds just so you get it like it's just moving quick yeah it's this is like i love when you can look at a piece of um art like this and really, truly um, see that it, it all stems from one person's head. Like, mm -hmm. you can really, you really get the vibe that this is like, like you're peeking into Kevin's imagination. Yeah, totally. Super cool.
him standing on his tippy toes there, um, delivering his vocal takes. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a boy who grew up listening to Dan Romano, son. Mm-hmm. So I think I got it. This is all about uh, avoiding the g- past ghost of yourself, like. Uh, Okay. Always, it's haunting you because it always reminds you right. of a, maybe a, a bad person you once were. But like, he's choosing to ignore it. You see how he's like in everything. He's just like, oh, turning it off, and like he sees it, and he right. kind of just like he's just ignoring it. And he says, yeah, there was a lo- there was a vocal delivery he said there that kind of hinted towards that. And that, uh, yeah, maybe it's talking about like a like a past self or something like that. Where yeah, um, I remember um, the band Endwell. Um, they would pretty frequently, one of my favorite bands of all time, I think I recommended one of their albums. Um, if I didn't, I do now. Um, but they would really consistently use the metaphor of ghosts being like, like your past that haunts you. And I mm-hmm. like, wh- one of my emails is no more ghosts at, um, like, mm-hmm. yeah, cause like, I've always loved that metaphor. And now that you're tying that together, it's just making me love this so much more because that's always been like my, one of my favorite, like, poetic metaphors is mm-hmm. the idea of like your your bad past being like this ghost that haunts you and trying to avoid it so mm-hmm. yeah no this is that's just makes it all the more relatable Can't he play? Yeah, Phil, I, I think you were right about me being right. I think I did nail the say anything thing. <laughs> if you bring a xylophone into the mix, and I'm, yeah. Um, and I mean, say anything, um, especially that one album, uh, In Defense of the Genre. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like, man, like, I like everything on that album from, like, um, Baby Girl, I'm a Blur, to, like, um, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, they cover, um, I can't remember the song names on there now. I, I remember liking, like, three quarters of that album, which on an album that's that diverse yeah, is, like, like, like when I say like, I mean, like, knew the lyrics off by heart <laughs> and stuff. Like, I love that album, and um, they covered so much genre, like, they covered so many genres just in that release, and this sounds like an amalgamation of, like, someone who grew up loving that type of stuff. And For I, sure. I, if what if I, what I remember uh, from Kevin, I, I think he did like really like say anything, and, you know, <laughs> creative sort of artsy bands. Like I'm telling you, we lived through like a golden year of like indie rock. Oh, totally, yeah. Every song. The puppy. Is he eating a watermelon the like that? That's how you do it. I've never done it like that. <laughs> That's when you don't gotta share the melon. <laughs> oh, and look, look, the the ghost is hung over. Oh right, it's got and, the bucket. Yeah. And like, yeah. Oh what? Why? So funny. Wow. Fucking wow, dude. It's like like the dog from Goosebumps. I can't. (coughs) I can't believe how good that was. Like, I was expecting Kevin to come through with, like, a compelling indie rock song. Like, that mm. is what I was expecting, but, like, the shakers, knowing to show the shakers on screen, the xylophone, the neon synths, that shot where it's, like, the repeating shot of him looking <laughs> in, the concept around it, like, 
the, the sheer amount of like creativity and work that's gone into this. This is this is a, such a solid first impression. Mm. Oh for, yeah, like, your music like this is. I don't. I, I, you would have to be such a joyless person to not enjoy this. Yeah, this this was fantastic. I really enjoyed this. This just had so much character to it, and then like it, it, there was just so many instruments being added to the mix. Like it almost reminded me of that one scene from uh, Walk Hard, where he's like, "I want an army of didgeridoos." Like <laughs> more didgeridoos. <laughs> but yeah, no, Kevin, uh, you did it again. You're always you're a great musician. You're like, and I was particularly paying attention to the drums because I know that's like his first his instrument, and like yeah. you can really hear how tight those drums are with those with those rolls and I, and, I, and and yeah. He, they decided to show him doing it, and yeah, this is, has had to have been self-directed. There's no way that he didn't just set this up with a couple of buddies, and then at the end there, there was they were playing a show. So I think this is a full band. Um, I think he said he's working on an album too, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. This so, is this is great. This is super cool. Um, shout, shout out to Kevin, yeah, and keep keep making more music. Can't wait to hear it. Yeah, this was stellar, absolutely stellar. Um, shout out to you. There you have it, folks. That was our reaction. What did you think? Leave it all down below in the comments. If you aren't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and follow us for all the updates on Instagram at Banfield, B-A-N-B-E-C-B-O-T-E-S. Thank you.